All right, today I'm uh, gonna work on the uh, front of uh, Polaris 300 Sportsman. This one, uh, my 15-year-old uh, daughter caught a couple trees in it one day. And th these little bends don't bother me so much. This is a built-in brush guard that the uh, 300 Polaris came with. And uh, the bends don't bother me so much, but what it's done is it's pushed this part of the front up. You can see it's higher than this part. This part's flush and this part's sticking up. But by pushing up this plastic, it makes the storage compartment hard to open. The storage compartment is binding on this front, so I need to take this brush guard off to uh, figure out uh, what's bent back there. So the first thing I'm going to do is there's two half-inch bolts down here, and these are not netted on the back side, so I'm just going to take those off with a half-inch ratchet. First thing you want to do is there's wires that go to bulbs that are inside of both of your headlamps. When you take off the front brush guard on this thing, uh, those front, front headlamps are hooked into this black plastic piece, and this black plastic piece is going to come off. So the first thing you would have wanted to do is, is to take these bulbs out. I didn't show that prior to showing the uh, half-inch bolts that I take out, but the half-inch bolts are, are now out of there. Now there's some studs that go from this point, so this part and this part are two separate parts. And there are some studs that go from here through this part and are bolted in on the back in, into a frame bracket. All right, so those studs are just nutted on the back and those nuts again are, are half inch. For some reason, Polaris likes, likes to nut a lot of things like these Torx bits, there's always nuts on the back of them. So the next thing to do would be to take off the uh, half inch nuts that are on the back of here. The two nuts are off on the back of here. The next part would be these Torx bits, that's another thing that Polaris seems to like. Now these Torx bit, these top ones up here are a T40 Torx bit, and on the back side of those is a half inch nut. So you're gonna have to have a ratchet for the front side with a Torx bit on it, and then a half inch wrench to put on, on, the, uh, on the nut on the back of it. Out, and like I mentioned, when you take this metal brush guard off, all the plastic will come off with it. So we'll take that down and set it aside. The guard is totally off. There's two brackets back here that are mounted to hold the brush guard up. And what, I, what you can see on here is you can see this one's pretty much flat across. And now this one is bent back in. And you can also see a wrinkle in it back here. So at a minimum, I'm going to have to either bend this bracket back or replace it. And I'll have to figure out whether or not I'm going to have to replace any of these pieces or if I can just bend those back also. So that's how the brush guard comes off. You can put it back on in the uh, opposite order that I took it off in. Um, these nuts that hold these brackets on, something that I found out about the Polaris is I'm not sure whether it's all supposed to be SAE or all metric or half and half, but the 5 8 fits a little loose on here, but it is what I use to take it off and I've used SAE for the rest of this project. so. I'll keep on uh, pressing on with the SAE. I'm going to take that bracket off and see if I can bend it back and uh, see if I can get everything lined back up again. I'll show you how this whole thing comes apart. I mentioned earlier that there are studs that come through here. I'll pull this outer part off. It's a separate piece, which leaves this cross member, and the cross member comes off. And as I mentioned earlier about the light bulbs, something I noticed with this is both of these little rubber o-rings on here there's the one from the other side are dry rotted and broken so i guess i'll use this opportunity to go ahead and uh, change these out but these are what actually holds the headlights the inside part of the headlight in place so i'll go ahead and see if i can get some more of those at the auto parts store or something but here's the studs that i was talking about they had the half inch bolt uh, back behind here so I've kind of beat this thing out with a hammer. I'm going to see if I can get it to line back up or not. And if not, I will guess I'll be ordering a new bracket and whatever else I need to order to get this thing to fit back together correctly. I tested a little bit with a hammer for now. We're supposed to be trying to go out to Lake Murray this coming weekend. So I want to try to get it back together for this weekend. And uh, something I forgot to mention earlier is that this the stud that runs from this uh, vertical part of the brush guard through the horizontal and through the mount. It's kind of long 
and uh, all these nuts are self-locking nuts, but you need to make sure you're using a deep well socket because a regular depth socket isn't going to be deep enough to reach over the stud and tighten that locking nut up all the way. But I've got it usable. It's still sticking up a little bit, but not near as far as it was earlier. And I've got it to where the storage compartment will open now. So it's usable and I'll pick up new parts that I need later on.